Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we will discuss Staphylococcus aureus. This is my first video presentation on uh, the subject bacteriology. I will discuss more uh, topics in this series. First, I'm going to include the Staphylococcus aureus and I'm going to make um, multiple video series on uh, specifically this particular topic because uh, in Staphylococcus aureus there are uh, some things that we need to discuss, for example, the biochemical characteristics. As you can see, I have made a gram-positive profile of bacteria, uh, this particular bacteria. And there are uh, another aspects like the different infections that are caused by this particular organism. And then there is lab diagnosis and uh, treatment and prevention. Uh, you, have, you have shown a lot of love to this particular uh, uh, video. Uh, channel and uh, I hope that you're gonna like my future videos also. So with that note, let's start uh, introducing, uh, let's start the introduction of Staphylococcus aureus and in this video lecture what I'm going to discuss is just the introduction of this particular organism. In this particular video, I'm going to touch base on uh, the different aspect of Staphylococcus aureus. And in my future video, I'm going to pick up those aspects and make detailed video on each of the aspects. For example, the biochemical aspect, the cultural characteristic, the infections, the virulence factors, uh, and so on and so forth, right? So if you like the video, then please do subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to make more videos, then please uh, support uh, the channel and uh, support my videos because it helps me and it motivates me to make more videos uh, that definitely is going to help you in your studies and your so let's start uh, this presentation and uh, i will start with my first slide where as you can see i have few points that i want to discuss point number one is a uh, staphylococcus aureus uh, is bacteria that requires normal nutrient medium. So for example, if you provide nutrient agar, this bacteria is going to grow. Second, aerobic as well as anaerobic environmental condition are supportive for this particular bacteria to grow. Third point is gram positive. So if you have seen my previous video, uh, videos on gram staining as well as I made videos on uh, gram positive and gram negative cell walls. You can find these videos on my channel if you just type the gram staining basic science series or uh, gram positive cell wall uh, basic science series you will find those videos and I want you to watch those videos because in, in that particular video what I've discussed how to perform the gram staining and how to interpret the result. Right? As you can see uh, I have shown you the gram staining profile of Staphylococcus aureus and uh, the Staphylococcus in general, they are spherical bacteria and they are present in clusters. And if we talk about Staphylococcus aureus uh, specifically, this bacteria is dangerous human pathogen. This causes life-threatening infections and uh, complications in humans. All right, so that was just the introduction of the Staphylococcus aureus. Uh, I'm not going into detail of the biochemical uh, test here, but definitely the next video is coming up where I'm going to show you all the important biochemical characteristics. Let's move on to the next slide. Uh, in the next slide, as, as you can see, I'm trying to discuss the infections. So basically the infections with Staphylococcus are characterized as invasive, toxicosis, and mixed. In case of invasive, as the name suggested, that the, it, it's going to invade the body parts. Here I, I have designed lung, uh, human lung, and as you can see, in case of the Staphylococcus aureus pneumonia, it's going to invade the lungs and it's going to destroy the lungs. Right? And uh, uh, in case of Staphylococcus aureus, the most important infection is the wound infection, that it colonized the area where the tissue injury uh, was there and uh, the bacteria was able to invade the host through that tissue injury. Second important point in this case, the infect in case of the infections or the complications associated with Staphylococcus aureus is toxicosis. Toxicosis is means uh, means uh, that the the toxin produced by this particular organism can 
enter in the human host and cause complications. In this case, we can take an example of enterotoxin and uh, when enterotoxin is going to enter in the human body is going to cause complication in your intestine, right? And the third one will be mixed. In case of the mixed, there will be a strain which can invade the organ and cause the production of the toxins. And that is going to be really difficult and uh, it's going to be really dangerous if you have the strain that causes the mixed type of infection. So I have just designed this lever here to show you when there is a there is a complication due to toxin, lever is the one who uh, neutralizes the effect of the toxin because lever functions uh, basically to neutralize the drugs, neutralize the molecules, neutralize the toxins that are unwanted to the human host. All right, when we move on to the next slide, as you can see, I am discussing regarding the virulence factors associated with Staphylococcus aureus. In this one, I have picked the important virulence factors and I have already told you that we will discuss these virulence factors in our separate videos, right? So that I can detail out what are these goggles, what is uh, the specific feature of the goggles, and so on and so forth. Here, the virulence factor, the first virulence factor that I want, uh, I want to discuss is for, uh, coagulase. Coagulase, I have already made video on coagulase test where I have explained this particular enzyme in detail. Uh, I want you to watch that video and uh, you will understand coagulase and how to do slide as well as tube coagulase test. In my upcoming videos, I'll show you how to do that particular test uh, for Staphylococcus aureus. So coagulase is basically responsible for the coagulation of the blood. That is why it is an important virulence factor. Second one is hemolysin. Hemolysin destroy the red blood cells. To acquire nutrients from human host, Staphylococcus aureus developed the strategy to destroy the human host, uh, RBCs. Then you have leukocidins. Leukocidins are responsible to cause pore formation in leukocytes. And leukocytes are the cells of the immune system that can uh, defend our body from these uh, pathogenic organisms. And here, Staphylococcus aureus developed the strategy to destroy the leukocyte, leukocytes. So, it is an important virulence factor. Another virulence factor is enterotoxin and toxic, uh, toxic shock toxin. These two toxins are responsible, are responsible for uh, Various complications, enterotoxins are responsible for the complications in the intestine and toxic shock syndrome is basically a potent toxin that can induce a life-threatening complication in case of Staphylococcus aureus infection. So we will discuss these virulence factors in detail. If you want me to make the video on these separate virulence factors, please, please uh, comment in the comment section so that I know you are interested in these virulence factors. All right, let's move on to the next slide. In the next slide, I am trying to discuss the lab diagnosis and treatment as well as the prevention options. As you can see, I haven't detailed out many points in this particular slide because this video is going to be very long. So I can make a separate video on lab diagnosis as well as treatment and prevention. Here, I just want to tell you that lab tests, there are important lab tests that uh, you can use to identify and distinguish between Staphylococcus uh, species. For example, you can distinguish between Staphylococcus aureus and Staphylococcus epidermidis, which is really important. And you can use gram staining, you can use coagulase, oxidase tests, and uh, there are uh, culture characteristics also that you can utilize to identify this particular organism. And then you have penicillinase resistance penicillin as a treatment option for this particular organism. And uh, in the last Hand washing and sanitizer use is important to prevent the infection associated with any microorganism. So, follow the hygienic practices, follow good hygienic practices and the use of sanitizer as well as the normal soap that we have in uh, our house can do the job. So, if you follow the hand washing, the frequent and correct hand washing practices, you will keep yourself safe from this particular Organism. All right, so this was a brief introduction of Staphylococcus aureus. As I have already told you that I'll make videos, detailed videos on different aspects of Staphylococcus aureus, including the culture, cultural characteristics, 
biochemical test, infections, viral infectors, and so on and so forth. So I want you to stay tuned to the channel. I want you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the video. And uh, I will also make videos on various different uh, other series like I have already started to make videos on genetics, immunology and uh, biochemistry and so on. These videos are going to be really helpful because uh, when I make my videos I focus on uh, specifically on the notes and uh, specifically on the points that are important on that particular subject. So I hope uh, you're going to stay tuned and uh, support the channel. Thank you and take care.